Hello and welcome to another JMP video. I'm your host Renato and today I'm going to be talking about uh, movement speed. What is going to be the max movement speed in this game? So in the last video that I did talk about movement speed, I went over every single movement speed buff, how to properly maximize your movement speed in both in and out of Delft. This time around I will be talking about what is the potential max movement speed that you can get in this game. Unlike the last video, the last video was mostly how to maintain the movement speed. In this video is what is going to be your maximum, your cap, your 100% movement speed. That is if you have every single movement speed buff in the entire game for any type of player so i will be talking about technically any type of player instead of going like the actual potential maximum including event food including like the death ring ally i will be going over everything that you can get at any portion of the game at any time which are going to be the crystal equipment and the banner the grand movement speed the delves ally that actually you can craft the grand movement speed buff the emblems the power gem ability subclass and the actual clap buff and also the path painter everything that you can get at any portion of the game so uh I will be going over every single thing and then i will be just going over which are the character from fastest to slowest if you're only caring about like what is going to be the potential max movement speed i will leave two timestamps on screen so one of the timestamp is going to be for the movement speed buff that is without the path painter and the other one is going to be the max movement speed with path painter and this all in and out of delve so before all of that i will suggest you leave a like subscribe if you want to see more content like this and leave also a shout out to one of my mods which was the one that suggested this video which was Lord Vladimir thank you for the suggestion and this is a pretty interesting video it took me around three or four hours to actually do all of the calculation and to properly do this video so I hope you guys enjoyed this video there's going to be a lot of numbers involved so if you don't like the numbers this might not be the video for you so let's get started so the first thing that you need to keep in mind this is the movement speed stat value so if you go into your character sheet you can actually just see the movement speed on your character sheet on the stat value that is the movement speed that i'll be talking about i will not be using the speedometer like speedometer or whatever it's called like the mod that actually just tells you how much movement speed that you're moving because that actually takes like forward momentum dodging and so on and so forth just be talking about the actual one that you can see in the character sheet so the following formula is going to be as follows we will be talking about base movement speed max out crystal level 4 equipment with a 10 movement speed banner a delve ally that actually grants the movement speed buff Trailblazing Emblem, the two Empower Gem abilities, the highest movement speed subclass, class buff, and then the Path Painter for the Delve section. So I uh, will be going them into separate category. I do have them on a notepad on each and every single separate category. So let's get started. First of all, it's going to be the base movement speed. So there's going to be four different types of base movement speed across all 16 characters. Out of the 16 characters, 12 characters share the same movement speed of 40, which it is a lot of them. You can just see the list right now on screen. The other characters are going to be the Pirate Captain and the Boomeranger, which have a base movement speed of 43. Neon Ninja has a base movement speed of 46 and the Lunar Lancer has a base movement speed of 56. Then it's going to be Max Out Crystal Level 4 Equipment. Max Out Crystal Level 4 Equipment has a base movement speed of 21 movement speed per piece of gear. So that's a total of 63 movement speed. And then it's going to be the Torch which is 10 more movement speed. A total it should be 73 but in this calculation I will be lowering down by one movement speed but because if you actually do have all of the movement speed equipment the trove actually rounds it out to 72 movement speed instead of 73 so for example i do have the knight and i do have all of these things that i just previously mentioned and the maximum base movement speed that i have is 112 which and uh, movement speed is going to be 40 plus 72 is 112 it should be 40 plus 73 but trove actually just lowers it down by one movement speed for some reason so i will be taking into account as 72 instead of 73 then it's going to be the delve allies or the ally buffs which is a plus 30 the clownish kicker should be a plus five but i will not be taking that into calculation because that is actually a death dream ally and the death dream ally is just an exclusive ally that you can get it from a box then it's going to be the trailblazing emblem trailblazing emblem is plus 20 then the two empower gem ability is going to be 30 from pirate death 20 from vampire and vanquisher which is a total of plus 50 from empower gems and the highest movement speed subclass is going to be plus 20 from the candy brain subclass and for the candy brain calculation is going to be plus 15 because the candy brain cannot use its own subclass it has to use the lunar lancer subclass which is the second best which is a plus 15 and then the path painter is going to be a plus 60 percent and then if you take into account the event food supposed to be plus 10 movement speed if i recall 
But again, I will not be taking that into calculation because it's an event for it's tied to one specific event. Now that I talk about pretty much everything that is in the class buff, I will be going over the class buff. There's going to be a total of eight characters that actually have buffs. Out of the eight characters, that's going to be eight characters with movement speed buff, eight characters without movement speed buff. So the character with the movement speed buff are going to be as follow. Lunar Lancer has a base movement speed increase of plus 30, which is coming from the passive ability. And the ultimate ability is going to be a plus 10. So the ultimate ability actually blessing of the boom is going to be plus 10, but I will be taking into account both calculation with and without the ultimate ability because the ultimate ability is only an A block radius, but I will be using that into calculation. That is going to be the Candy Barbarian at plus 20 movement speed from the passive. Draco is going to be a plus 75% from the passive ability if you touch lava and plus 10 movement speed from the ultimate ability. Then the Neon Ninja is going to be a plus 50% from the Shadow Flip. Dino Tamer is going to be a plus 40 from the ultimate ability. Gunslinger is going to be a plus 20 from ultimate ability. So yes, with or without the class gym ability, if you use the ultimate ability, you actually do get a plus 20 movement speed with the Gunslinger, which is surprising. Ice Age is going to be a plus 50. And Vanguardian is going to be a plus 30 from Force Flash. The Ice Age was a plus 50 from the ultimate ability. So one more thing before we start talking about all of the calculation and pretty much all of the movement speed that you can get, like the maximum movement speed. One thing that you need to keep in mind is going to be about percentage increase ability. There's actually two percentage increase ability if you don't count the Path Painter, which I'll talk in more into that once I get into the delve section. But there's going to be two percentage increase ability, which are going to be the Draco 75% and the Neon Ninjas 50%. So in order to actually just actually properly calculate the, the percentage increase you actually need to increase your raw to the maximum so for example you need to add, start adding all of the raw increase that you do get with all of the movement sweep buff which are going to from the Delph Ally, Crystal O4, yada 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 the base movement speed increase are going to be your the first thing that you need to do after you do all of that, you multiply that by either 1.5 or 1.75, depending on the character that you're doing. So if it is Neon Ninja, it's obviously 1.5. If it is Draco, it's going to be 1.75. It is If it is going to be the Path Painter, it's 1.6. So that's going to be how it does work out with percentage increase ability. That is why that those abilities are the strongest abilities in the entire game when it comes to movement speed. One more thing that I will be talking about is going to be with Path Painter. Like I just mentioned, Draco and Neon Ninja both have actual percentage increase ability. So how does that work with the Path Painter? So you actually need to get the percentage that you do get with the actual buffs, which is going to be with Draco is going to be 75%, and then just add 0.6, which is going to be the 60%. So just add 0 0.6 to 1.75, which is 2.35, and that is going to be the result that you do get with both passive and the Path Painter active, both of them at the same time. It's going to be the same thing with the Neon Ninja, but a little bit less, obviously. It's going to be 1.5 plus 0.6, which is 2.1, and that's going to be the result that you actually should get with Path Painter and Shadow Flip. I hope that made sense, but that is going to be how it does work out. Now, let's start talking about what is going to be the potential max movement speed. So, I will be taking into account with the slowest movement speed character, which one of them is my main, the Knight. The Knight is actually one of the six slowest moving characters in the entire game, which are going to be the general movement speed buff at 40 and characters with no movement speed buff, which are going to be as follow. Knight, Revenant, Colormancer, Fate Trickster, Tomb Racer, and Shadow Hunter. Those are six classes that actually have no movement speed buff and the base movement speed at 40. Those are the slowest characters in the entire game, which are going to be, if you want to do this calculation, it's going to be like this. Just add 40, which is the base movement speed, plus 72, which is going to be crystal level 4 with torch. It should be 73, but again, how Trove does work out, it actually reduces your movement speed by 1 with those calculations, and it does work out like this. Then just add plus 30 because of the ally buffs, plus 20 because of Trove Blazing, plus 50 because of the two Empower Gem abilities, Pirate Disappear and Banquisher, and then plus 20 because of the Candy Barbarian subclass. All of these classes can use the Candy Barbarian subclass, and yeah, the maximum movement speed that you can obtain with these classes is going to be 232, which I should have a screenshot right now on screen. Uh, that is going to be the potential maximum movement speed that you can get with all six characters, all these six characters outside of those inside of those is a little bit different but this is outside of those now going in order instead of just explaining all of them in detail i will be going them in order like this next up is going to be the pirate cat boomeranger at 235 then it's surprisingly it's going to be candy prepare at 247 then it's going to be gunslinger at 252 
then it's going to be the Vent Guardian at 262, then it's going to be the Dino Terminal at 272, then it's going to be, you could say it is either the Lunar Lancer or the Ice Age, depending on how you look at it, but without the ultimate ability, that it should be the Lunar Lancer. But with the ultimate ability with Blessing of the Moon, the Lunar Lancer is faster than the Ice Age. So I'll talk a little bit about the, the Lunar Lancer first, because obviously you're not using the ultimate ability for movement speed, which should be 278 without the ult and 288 with the ult. Then it's going to be Ice Age at 282. Then it's going to be the Neon Ninja at 357. Yes, it is a big difference between the Neon Ninja and all of the other characters. And even bigger of a difference is going to be the Draco at 424. The actual result calculation is going to 423.5, but I actually ran that up to 424. But yeah, that is going to be the fastest character in the entire game, which is going to be the Draco, which is the only character that can reach 400 plus movement speed without doing any glitches. So I mentioned that because you can actually do the Dragon Cell glitch. I made a video about it, top right card right now on screen. And that in that video, I just explained how to get the lava movement speed buff that you do have with Draco, but with any other character. Obviously, I will not be talking about that in a video like this because I'm just talking about the maximum movement speed that you can get on that specific character without doing any glitches and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, that is going to be the potential max movement speed. For those who just skip to this uh, portion of the video, this is the list of the fastest to slowest movement speed. If you're curious what is going to be the calculation that I talk about, I probably wouldn't leave a text right now on screen or just go back a little bit towards the beginning of the video and just you're going to see what is the calculation that I did use in order to actually just check what is going to be the potential max movement speed. Now it's going to be the same calculation but adding out the Path Painter. So this is going to be the max movement speed that you can get inside the Delft. Like I just mentioned before, this is going to have 60% increase to every single character in the entire game in terms of movement speed. So you can use the result like the end result times 1.6 with the exception of something like the Neon Ninja and the Draco because they do have a little bit of different calculations. Anyway, so again, from slowest to fastest character is going to be as follow. I will be just mentioning what is the movement speed that I think is going to end up with and the actual numerical result that I got from doing this math for just adding all of the things plus the 1.6. Anyway, so the maximum potential movement speed of the slowest character in the entire game is going to be like again, Night Revenant, Chlorophade, Tomb Racer, Shadow Hunter is going to be 371. The actual result is 371.2, but I ran that down to 371. Then is going to be the Priory Captain and the Boomerang at 376. Then is going to be Candy Barrera at 395. Result it was 395.2. Then is going to be Gunslinger at 403. 403.2 is actual the actual result. Then is going to be the Vanguard at 419. Again, 419.2. Then it's going to be Dino Tamer at 435. Again, 435.2. Then again, like I just mentioned, it's either Lunar Lancer or Ice Age. The Lunar Lancer is going to be next up on the list if you don't include the ultimate ability, which is 445. The actual result, it was 444.8. Or 461, which is 460.8, which is the actual result that I got from Lunar Lancer with the ultimate ability. Then it's going to be the Ice Age at 451, it's going to be 451.2. Then it's going to be Neon Ninja at 500, which is going to be 499.8. And then it's going to be the Draco at 569 which is 568.7 and yeah that is going to be the result of all of those characters this is going to be the potential max movement speed that i got from doing all of the calculation again i cannot just do all of the testing myself because i do not have every single character with max crystal or for equipment with a 10 movement speed all of the movement speed buff in the entire game that's just ridiculous to get all of the movement speed buff but i actually do know all of the movement speed buff. i actually went out of my way and just do all of the math like i just mentioned this took me like three or four hours to just do math over and over again and just to write down all of this into one notepad and yeah that is going to be pretty much all of the result for those who just skipped into this portion of the video here's the result of all of the characters and on screen from slowest to fastest or fastest to slowest i don't know which order i'll just put it in on text 
and yeah those are going to be all of the lists on all of the characters in the entire game if you're just willing to go back and just check which is going to be the potential max movement speed that you can get on every single character this is it keep in mind getting the highest potential movement speed doesn't necessarily mean that that character is going to be the fastest at doing that specific content Draco is not the fastest farmer even despite having the highest potential movement speed in the entire game. It is not because it doesn't one shot just as efficient as, uh, as other characters. Like characters like the knight despite having almost 200 less movement speed on both occasions is going to grind out faster than Draco despite having less potential movement speed. Neon Ninja is going to be faster all around because it does have high movement speed, high, uh, high potential one shotting and all that sort of stuff. So keep a balance between the two. It is not only just high movement speed is going to be that's how fast you're going to complete dungeons. You have to take into account how good like certain abilities just work out if your character does one shot, if you kill really fast from dungeon to dungeon, like if you don't have to do any niche thing in order to increase the movement speed, those things are going to matter more than actually just having the character with the max potential movement speed. Anyways, that's going to be everything regarding this long little discussion, long little video. Uh, thank you everyone for watching, thank you for sticking around. As always, if you like to see more content like this, just let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and that is all for today. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and keep on hunting.